Uh, what's up, Culture Drop? I am Galen. This video is three really awesome things that you can do as a team uh, remotely to build connection, just have fun, and like just some fun ideas for teams. Here we go, talking about a swirl. Dude, I love it when I do that swirl. A cyclone swirl. One of the most common questions and things that comes up right now is sort of how do we maintain culture? How do we build culture and connection with teams if we're hybrid and remote? These are three simple things I think you can do over like a Zoom call or Teams call that is just like a fun way to build connection and get people to know each other better uh, on Teams. So um, yeah, love these ideas. Take them, you know, mix them up, be creative with them. But here we go. Number one, show and tell. We did this with our team a couple times and it's so much fun. So people come and we just have a moment where everyone shares for two or three minutes, but they grab something from their house or anything and just like bring it for show and tell. It's a good way to like kind of connect with people, what people choose to bring in show. It's a way for like you to get to know your coworkers and like it's just a fun thing that's not related to work. Show and tell was so fun for us. It like brought back memories of like being a little kid when I was in like first grade or second grade, I brought like my hamster to school. It was like the coolest thing in the world. It was like, this is my hamster. Anyways, show and tell. There's just like something lovely about it. This seems like a brilliant idea. A scavenger hunt. Whether it's Teams or Zoom, you can put people into breakout rooms of like three or four and then give them 30 minutes or however much time you have to go and collect and do all these things. So it's like, cool, here's this huge list of things. You have to take a picture of everybody in a wig, you know, a screenshot of everybody on the call or people have to, you know, just you can have them either gather things from their house um, or whatever it is for a scavenger hunt. And like, that would be super fun. So you like put people in a random teams, do a scavenger hunt, there's competition, it's fun, it's high energy. It's like, again, a way to get to know people and connect and do something that's not work, but that's really, really fun together. I think that would be awesome. We only have four people on our team, so like, Everyone would be like a single team or two teams. Anyways, you could do this. I think that would be so fun. You could be so creative with it in terms of like what they have to gather, take pictures of. There's also apps. I can't remember the app right now, but there's apps. Um, we'll add it in the graphics. I'll look it up and put it up on the screen. But there's an app that helps you run a scavenger hunt. So you can, the teams can submit things to the app and then it assigns points and stuff. Um, anyways, really, really fun. A scavenger hunt would be a great idea for teams and you can, it's scalable. It doesn't matter how many people you have. You can do it between departments, etc. Scavenger hunt, so fun. Number three, last one. This one's simple. And we did this on our team as well for a while and it was really fun. Everybody can answer the question to what could you give a five or 10 minute talk about with no presentation at all. So we did kind of like a TEDx, not TEDx style, but like basically you have five minutes to talk about whatever you want. So it can be like why um, X movie is the best Star Wars movie or dance or something that you love that you are just like passionate about, some TV show, whatever it is, but that you can take turns once a week or once per month. Every person on your team has something in their life that they can talk about for five or 10 minutes forever that they love. And so people can like, have slides that they also present as part of their presentation, right? Because they know that it's coming for them. But things that are, people are passionate about, again, it's a great way to build connection, get to know your coworkers, do something fun outside of work that isn't, I don't think it's corny or cheesy. I think it's like really fun. When we did it, it was like someone shared a trip that they had taken uh, and the pictures from that trip. Just really fun, creative things. And like, it just, it felt good to bond that way. And it didn't matter that we weren't in the same room. We could do it really well. So I think those are three great ideas. If you come up with other great ideas, like share them or if it's social media that you're seeing this, like post other cool things that you've done with your team. Cause I think everybody's looking for those ideas right now of ways to build connection and, and team and have fun that aren't like Zoom happy hours because, you know, we've done those a lot. So cool. That's it. I love you. Go be awesome. I did bring my hamster to school and it was like, dude, I felt like a champion. I felt like a champion. I was like, that's my hamster. That's Snowball. He was like a little white hamster. That day, I ran that school. It was so good, man. Show and tell. Okay, let's do more. <laughs> Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we have our weekly email list, The Culture Drop. You can subscribe to that and get these emails right in your inbox. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put out a lot of free content around being more awesome and building great teams.